Hi everyone, today we are sharing the second episode of Plask Tips and Tricks series. You will learn how to configure DNS for your domain in Plask. As you may know, Plask doesn't register domains but it hosts them, so before you will be able to manage a domain in Plask, you need to register it. There are many registrars like GoDaddy, Inom, Ayanas, Freenom, etc. As an example, in this video we will use a domain registered at Freenom. Let's add it to Plask. Log in to Plask and go to the Websites and Domains page. Let's add a website. Here we are asked to fill in the properties of the website. We need to add a domain with the name that is an exact match of the one we have at Freenome. Then choose either shared or dedicated IP address. We leave the default shared IP address. Enter the username, generate password, to secure your domain with the SSL TLS certificate, the domain needs to be resolved. It will be resolved after we finish all DNS settings, so we can do it later. We have created the website in Plask. Now we can configure DNS. The domain name system converts internet names into IP addresses. Internet names are the easy to remember names that we use to locate websites. IP address are the internet protocol addresses that each computer connected to a network is assigned. DNS allows user-friendly names to be assigned to an IP address. DNS means that users can have a name to remember instead of a number. This also has the advantage of allowing the internet name to remain the same even if the IP address of the host server is changed. Let's proceed to the website we've created and choose DNS settings. There is a list of DNS records and we are interested in the ones with the record type NS, meaning name server. Also, we need to know the IP address of our Plask DNS server. We can check it at System Overview. Then it is required to change the name server for your domain at your domain registrar's account. Let's move to the Freenome and switch the Freenome name servers to the Plask name servers. The names should be the same. Provide NS records from Plask NS1 and NS2. The name servers are switched from the registrars to the custom ones. Also, we need to register glue records for our domain. A glue record is a hint that is provided by the parent DNS server it is needed to prevent circular references. Circular references exist where the name server for a domain can't be resolved without resolving the domain they are responsible for. The glue records are simply additional A records that are returned with a DNS response. These additional A records allow the DNS client to locate the name servers. So, at your register, you need to provide an S record from Plask, an S1, an IP address, then an S2, an IP address. Note that changes can take up to 84 hours to propagate depending on the register. While we are waiting our domain to be resolved, we can use Preview for a website to see how it works. Let's proceed to the website mxtoolbox.com and check if our domain works at Plask server. Enter the name of your domain and make a DNS check. So, we've managed to configure DNS for our domain properly. If we move to the website, we will see that it works. If you have any question or you want to share with us your experience in configuring DNS for the domain's register with the other registrar, please leave this in the comments to this video. Bye-bye, stay tuned!